Shavina in Brooklyn. Shavina, how are you? Hi. Good morning, Brad. Good morning. How are you? I'm fine. What's going on? Yeah, I'm just want to ask you. My daughter, she have done her fingerprint from July. Right. From August. From August. So I want to know how long it's going to take for her to do the interview. She did her fingerprints for what? A marriage case? No. For no. What? For what? No. She, she is, she's just a green card holder. No, not a marriage oh, for, case. For a she is a resident. What is she, I don't know what she's applying for. Tell me what she's applying for. No, she do her fingerprint for her citizenship. For her citizenship. From August. From so I August. Want to know how oh, long it's gonna it's take. gonna take nine or ten months from August. They're really backed up on citizenship. So uh, oh. so probably not till the spring, unfortunately. All right. What well, we dropped her. One eight hundred five two nine five four six five. We have Salim in St. Louis, Missouri. Salim. How are you? How are you? Grant? I, uh, I'm from Morocco. I have oh. your story. Oh, that's fantastic. You followed my story in Morocco? Where in Morocco are you from? Uh, I'm from uh, Casablanca. Oh, you, oh, okay. So we flew into <laughs> Casablanca, and then we drove to Fez. So, uh, you know yeah. what I found interesting about Morocco is it's really a very diverse country. It's Arabs, it's Berbers, Christians, Jews, Muslims, and, and everyone seems to get along and get together well. Yeah, it's a beautiful country. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, what can I do to help you, Salim? Yes, I uh, I get the night for a citizen uh -huh. because they said you didn't disclose the arrest and the case dismissed. And I don't remember this incident happened uh, twelve years ago. Okay. So uh, I just want to know. Uh -huh. I just want to know if I cannot apply again yeah. or just wait. No, you should apply again. Uh, let's get the disposition, and you're going to need the help of a lawyer that you weren't trying to misrepresent anything or withhold anything. And obviously, a case that was dismissed 23 years ago, uh, it's not something that you would be, you know, uh, saying, wow, if I disclose this, I'm not going to become a citizen. You would have become a citizen either way. Um, so it's okay sometimes to forget. We just got to explain it to them. Okay, so hold on, and we can definitely help you even from St. Louis, Missouri. Okay, so hold on one second. And the telephone number to call is 1-800-529-5465. That's 1-800-529-5465. The reason, by the way, Squeeze is not with us at this very moment is we're restarting some of our, some of our equipment in the back to see if we can get Davina Bennett on to our show for the second half of the show. So while they're working on that, I'm going to be taking your immigration calls at 1-800-529-5465. Don't forget to take out your finger. That's right, your finger that's attached to your hand. You take it out. Everybody has this. Don't accept maybe JPP is probably the only one I could think of off the top of my head who doesn't have this. Take, take your finger and the little, the little arrow thing at the corner. Share this on your timeline right now. And please let your friends and family know. Share to all your friends and family on your personal timeline. If 130 people do it, we now have 260 people watching. Please share it on your timeline, and we will uh, get everybody's immigration questions asked and answered right now. 1-800-529-5465. Wayne. Yes, good morning, Brad. Good morning. Hello, How are you? Squeeze. Yes, um, I recently got married, and I'm about to file for my wife. So I was wondering if I could file for her and her son at the same time. Yes. Now, you're, you're a citizen. Yes. How old, and, is, and she, how old is the son? I'm sorry. How old's the son? Um, seven. Seven? Well, she, yeah, well, she's here and he's overseas. Okay, so you're going to file an adjustment for her here, and you're going to file a separate I-130 for the son as a stepfather. You can do both at the same time. Okay, thank All you right, very much. Welcome. I appreciate it. Best of luck. All right. All right, happy new year. Squeeze, you're back, my man. Yeah, I am back. Yo, or as you say, I'm black. <laughs> <laughs> squeeze, know, say, squeeze, that, that, that is squeeze. That was squeeze. I, I want you to know something. I think that was the first joke you ever told me. Like the first and second week I ever met you. Uh, I don't know. You went. You went. I was waiting in the in the in the radio studio for you. I used to go up to Squeeze's radio studio. He goes, "Oh, I got to go to the bathroom." And he comes back. And he goes, "I'm black." <laughs> <laughs> That was 20 years. And, and, still he, and you're still saying it to me 20 years later. <laughs> All right. 1-800. All right. All right. One eight, I'll let you do your job. You're back. Thank you so much. Once again, folks, we're in tune to the Brad and Squeeze show. 
at the first live show of the year of 2018. Once again, a happy new year to each and everyone tuning in on my page, Brad's page, the Brad and Squeeze page. But remember, that is the focal point of the um, social media platforms. That is the Brad and Squeeze page. We're going to be getting to SMQ, the social media queen, shortly. But let's take some more calls on 1-800-529-5465. That's 1-800-529-5465. 1-800-529-5465. Get your immigration questions answered. As Brad noted earlier, please share with everyone on your timeline and social media. 93.5 FM listeners, you can share by telling more people about it also. Let's go to another call at 1-800-529-5465. Jay. Hi. Hi, Jay. Hi, good morning. From Ocala, Hi. Florida, Hi. Squeeze. A little warmer than where Ocala. we are. Ocala. Yes, a lot warmer. Jay, what's up? Hi, Happy New Year again. Happy New Year. I'm just have, have a question for you. Um, my brother was get charged in Florida and shot. Uh, I don't want to cut out some of it. And he required to get sent home. He didn't do nothing really. It's just by living in New York. Um, he, the police always catch him with like two stick of weed and they consider one as his and one as for selling or whatever. And over the years, it's been happening. And then he came to Florida now, start to drive trailer. Um, his green card expired. They want him to, to renew it and everything. And he went, he put it in for renewal. Well, it well, didn't well, come. He's going to get deported. He's going to get put in deportation. He's got multiple drug convictions, even if they're minor convictions. You can't go start renewing green cards and doing stuff on your own when you have multiple drug convictions. Weed is a deportable offense. To this day, even though it's legal in half the states, it's still deportable. You can't be doing that stuff. Okay. So t- so what I need you to tell him right now is, and, and I'm going to use trucker language, stop! Put the brakes on, okay? Yeah, Pull but, over um, to the side of the road and call me. we got to straighten him out. Yeah, but um, he, he requested to go home and he, um, somebody told, told him that just give, him, give them the birth paper and so on. He went home. But they they still write to him about the green card to renew his green card. So I'm I'm asking you, what can we do about it? So he self deported. What do you do? I don't understand. Yeah. He went home. I don't know. He would need Why to. Would he, I, he, he, he would he would need at this point at this point he would need to call me because I'm not sure what he did. I would need to see his criminal records, how long he's been home, and where the process is. Okay, so he would absolutely need a consultation at this point. We're not going to solve his problems. You know, he has multiple arrests. He left the country. We don't know how long he's left. He can certainly not come back to the country with those arrests. So I don't know where to go from there. Eight years, he lost his green card. Okay, he self-deported eight years ago. Uh, Whether or not he can ever come back and refile for a new one, it depends on what his criminal records are. So hold on one second, okay? All right. Squeeze, we got a full load here. A full load. A full load. Yeah. All right. You're a tractor trailer driver now? Got yes. We, we got a full load of calls here, Squeeze. I'm driving this and truck, man. I'm driving right, the let's, let's, doo, doo. <laughs> let's hop over to another one. All right. Mark. 1-800-5465. Hello, caller. Mark. Yes, hello. How are you? Pretty good, yes. pretty good. Hey, um, good morning, and stay warm because it's a little bit cold outside. Yeah, it is. Um, my question is simple. Um... Um, I just got married like a year and a half ago with my with my wife, um, and I know that she has to go to her country because she came without inspection. I just want to know what's the what's the pardon or the waiver that we have to send for her because she came in um, without inspection. She needs a six hundred one provisional waiver, six hundred one a okay. provisional waiver. Usually, you're going to need a good attorney to help you with that. It's not something you okay. just fill out a form and do it. And the second oh. thing, my second question to you is. There's a lot of different ways that you can enter the country without inspection. You can enter the country without inspection by just running across the border and nobody inspected you. Or you could also enter the country without inspection by actually going through an inspection process and, and you, know, f- you know, flipping out a document that's not necessarily you. If it's the okay. latter, if it's the latter, she has two waivers she needs because she has a misrepresentation issue too. The 601A waiver is not going to cover the misrepresentation. So, okay. so I'm not sure, how, you know, there's always the question of when you enter the country without inspection, that's a loaded word. Exactly how you did it will determine which waivers you need. Okay, all right. All right, hold on one second, but you're gonna need help. All right, All right, thanks. On. Once all right. again, yeah. 
And we just want to remind people that the number that you're calling, 1-800-529-5465, is the number for the law offices of Spar and Bernstein, which happens to be a full-service law firm, not just immigration, but there's personal injury, criminal defense, family law, and much more. All right? Let's go to another call at 1-800-529-5465 with our attorney, Bradford H. Bernstein. And I, and I just want to let you know, Squeeze, that all our numbers are locked right now. All 12 lines are locked and loaded right now. So if you are not having, so if you're having trouble getting through to us, Leave your questions right now on Facebook, on our Facebook page, yes, because our social idea. media queen is going to be coming live to us in about three or four minutes to answer all your social media questions right online. So if you can't get through on the, on the telephone, leave your message right now and also share this with your friends and family, Squeeze. We don't have... And go to the Brad and Squeeze page. Yes. We, that's the that, 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 is, page that you should do. That, that. Is, that Brad and Squeeze page. Correct. The Brad and Squeeze page is where you should be watching. That's where you should be leaving your social media questions. That's where you should be sharing it. And quite frankly, Squeeze, for being back two and a half weeks from now, we are up to 160 viewers. We should be over 200 if everybody does their job by helping us share our good work with everybody. So please share this with your friends you and go. family right now. And the telephone number to call is 1-800-529. 5465. Let's go to Jasmine. Jasmine. Hi. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. And How are you? happy new good year good to you guys. What's going on? All right. I have a question. I did a K 1 visa. Right. And he did his interview and he they took his passport, but he forgot his birth certificate and they wanted my son's birth, birth certificate. My son is born here in the United States. And we the sent back the information that they, that they requested. Right. And I logged on to, there's a site that they have where you can check the status of it. Sure. And it kept saying administrative Review. processing. Right. Last night, it said that it was ready. Okay. This morning, I checked it again. It says administrative processing. Okay. So I guess so that, that's, I, I don't know. I mean, maybe that's a computer glitch. I don't know. Uh, all I can tell you is two things. Number one, if you want to process this through, the best thing to do is, get a good lawyer like myself. We can call the U.S. Embassy. We'll get through a lot quicker than you will. Speak to somebody and, you know, you know, the squeaky wheel gets the oil, so to speak, and see what the problem is, what's being reviewed. Make sure they got the, you know, a lot of times you submitted back the documents that were missing and they, and they don't have it in their file for some reason. I can't begin to tell you how many times people submit a document and then they claim it's not in the file and you're sitting there waiting for a decision saying you did, you, you gave them the documents that they were waiting for and they're saying I don't have it and it just sits there never ending, never making a decision. So yeah. what you can do is, is either wait, which I wouldn't recommend, or hire us and let us contact the U.S. Embassy and figure it out. A good lesson for everybody else is make sure you come prepared. Because if you come prepared, you get through, it goes very easy. The day you walk in and you're not prepared, this is what happens. It's a never-ending bureaucracy. So hold on one second, Jasmine. All right, let's go to... Don't forget, uh, folks, the Braddis Show. 1-800-529-5465. That's 1-800-529-5465. We're going to attempt to get through every single call. But if we don't, do remember that we also have a noon show. Do remember also that we've got the uh, Facebook page, Brad and Squeeze. Leave your questions there. Share the page with everyone. Tell everyone to like the page. All right, 1-800-529-5465. Brad? All right, let's try... Oh, wrong button there. Let's try uh, Allison in Houston. Allison. Yes. How are you? Good morning. Good morning. I'm okay. What's up? Good morning. Um, I'm from Jamaica. Mm -hmm. I came here um, 2016. Right. Got married in July 2016. Okay, I got married, and since then, my husband, he hasn't started paperwork, you know, issues after issues. Then, he started having... Can I ask you a question, what, if you don't mind sharing? What are the issues after issues? What, what was the Drug problem? issues. Okay, so he's on drugs. Yes. So he's, so he's, so he's, sometimes he's there, and sometimes he's yeah, not. Yeah, because sometimes he, dis the, yeah, right. he disappears for days right. at a time when he's on it. And I came here, I... With my daughter. Okay. I have a 10 year old daughter here. Mm -hmm. However, um, after the Tuesday after, it disappeared Thanksgiving Day. We didn't see him again until Tuesday after Thanksgiving. He came home, posting an argument, and he threw us out. Okay. Can you tell me what to do or where to go from there? Well, one, because one, one, um, one of three. I hired. Get, get, get him into drug rehab. Go to marriage counseling. Okay. I'm just telling he, you these are the options. I understand. I'm just telling you what the options are. 
okay? Yeah. You can go into, go, get him into drug rehab and try to work things out with him by going to marriage counseling, okay? Um, that, okay. Just because he threw you out doesn't mean you can't work it out, okay? Number two, mm -hmm. if it's unworkable, um, we would need to sit down with you and see what the extreme emotional abuse was. If, if what he did to you was extreme emotional abuse, we can file a VAWA application for you and your daughter. That would require a consultation for us to sit down and figure out and go through your entire story. Or the third thing okay. is, is get a divorce and you know, gotta, you know, move on with life and figure out another way. All right, but those would be your three options. All right, hold on one second though, okay? And Kevin. Hi, how are you? How are you, Kevin? Um, listen, I have a friend of mine, I'm fine, thank you. I have a friend of mine that left the country while his paperwork was in process, while his immigrant, why is it, while his green card paperwork was the adjustment, in, in the process. adjustment was in process. Yes, but okay. he actually so now he's in Jamaica because he had to go on an emergency. But he has a valid visa, and while he's there now, he's been there for about a week. He no. got a, he got no, a letter he's totally from screwed. immigration. Nope, he's totally screwed. He, he got a totally, letter from nope, immigration and his appointment nope. is is uh, at, at the end of the month. Too bad, he screwed up. He, he screwed soon, up, huh? Yeah, as soon as you leave the country without advance parole, which is that combo card, you have that uh -huh. that case is automatically terminated. Now Ooh, the computer terminated. the computer doesn't know that he left the country because you know in America the right hand doesn't talk to the left hand. But as far uh -huh. as the law is uh -huh. concerned, that case is terminated. He cannot use his visa to re-enter the United States because he has already shown an intent to get a green card. So he can't now come back as a non-immigrant visa holder saying I'm coming here temporarily when you're coming for an interview in a week. So he is totally mm -hmm. screwed. He needs to refile all over again. Whoever filed for him needs to refile for him to pick up a green card at the U.S. Embassy in Jamaica. Okay, so, so is there a waiver that he could do? Uh, well, I don't know if he needs a waiver, but he certainly needs to get a green card at the U.S. Embassy, not, not, in, not in America. So now, the, all right, so if they void that application, right, can he stay where he's in Jamaica and his wife could refile for Correct. him? Or is there Correct. a penalty? Is well, there a ten there ten may, penalty? There may, there may be a penalty if he overstayed his time, yeah. He did overstay by but, two years. Okay, then he needs a waiver. of the t He has a 10-year bar, too. So he has all sorts of all right. problems. He has all sorts of problems. Okay, I know. One more question. I know yes. you got to go. Mm -hmm. but someone was mentioning that he could write a letter to immigration saying that he wants to transfer his case mm -hmm. To Jamaica, sure. so there was interview with him. Right. Is there anything like that possible? Um, you can you can transfer the I-130, the approved I-130, um, but you don't do it by letter. You do it by a form I-824. If you write a letter, that's like writing Santa Claus. Okay. I hope for your present to come as well. All right. You got to do it by. There's a form to file an I-824, and that will transfer the I-130. But he still needs a waiver. He has a 10-year bar. Wow. All right. So he needs a waiver. He needs a good lawyer. Like he, needs a lawyer huh? he needs a good lawyer. Not a lawyer. A good lawyer. A good lawyer. Yeah. Mm. Right. yeah. All right. Right. Oh, boy. You can't say that word on. Squeeze the fine. I'll, send, I'll forward that one to you. Uh, All right. <laughs> he, you sa so he said much, SH, right. you know what. All right. So please yeah. watch your language because we are live on WVIP 93.5 as well as on Facebook. Jerry in the Bronx. Jerry. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sure. How are you? Yes. How are you doing, man? What's Happy up? Happy holiday. Happy holiday. Another question. Yeah. Um, my mom, she's in Jamaica. She's like 70 years old now, right? right. She had a 10-year a, a, a visa before, but it's coming to a end now. But um, I just want her to come for like three weeks. She's not going to need a visa no more because she's going to go back home. But she already got a new passport. But the visa is in the old passport, which is expired. As long as the visa is valid, as long as the visa is as long as the visa is valid, she just travels with both passports. Okay. All right. All right. All right. But 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 the thing is, she's only coming for three weeks, so fine. That's that's no problem, right? No problem. Okay. All Thank right. you. Yeah. All right. And squeeze. Oh, gunk gunk gunk. Uh, squeeze. We got about a minute or two to go. Let's try Omar and Tinek. Omar. Yes, good morning, bro. How are you, Omar? Good. All right. Uh, yeah, Happy quiet. New Year to you guys. I have a, 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 a question here. Um, I was uh, currently incarcerated, got released. Uh, Last week you were I'm... incarcerated? No, he got right? released. Uh, oh, got he's released. Released. La released last week. Uh, yes, got released. I uh, okay. came out. Um, I was going to immigration court because uh, I was in deportation. I uh, filed for the... Um, U.S. passport. I got it to my father because he's a citizen. Fabulous. I got the passport, but in 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 the meantime, when I had a passport, I had a court date. 
Long story short, I missed the court date because my lawyer forgot what day we had to go to court. So immigration came for me 2015. Uh, they came for me. I showed them the passport. They released me. Uh, two weeks later, they came back again saying that the passport that I had was a mistake. Right. And uh, they, they took my passport away. I, I was in uh, immigration jail for like four months. Uh, I had to see a judge. Uh, long story short, I, I beat the case. The judge released me. Uh, they find me a citizen. I came home to 2015, tried to get back the passport, and I've been getting the runaround. I, I reapply. They're telling me that, you know, um, I'm not fit for a citizen. I can't get a passport. All right. So, so what, you, what, what you need to do is a judge already found that you're a citizen. you got to apply for the certificate of citizenship first. Show, show the State Department that you have a certificate of citizenship then apply for the passport. That's then, then there's nothing for them to stand on. Also, I would also consider you live in Teaneck, New Jersey. Come speak to us because they unlawfully jailed a U.S. citizen for four months. All right? That was unlawful, uh, unlaw uh, unlawful uh, uh, arrest. They, uh, before that, I applied for the, the certification. They denied that. That's, that's how I... All right, then you need to... All right, so Omar, you need to come see me, okay? Omar, all right, hold on one second. All right, hold on one second. You need to come see me. All right, I'm not gonna solve his problem over, over the uh, radio. Okay, you're a citizen, we'll prove it. You're not a citizen, you got a big problem. All right, so we gotta figure that one out.